divesting gone wrong. Karen Musamadi was found floating face down in the river. Her ex-white boyfriend has since been arrested for this crime. So this story has been going viral for a couple days now. This girl, her name is Alexandria. She's from Congo. Uh, her mother, she's the only child. Her mom sent her to Canada for schooling, just for a better life, to give her a head start in life. So typically her mom would send her money or her dad would send her money at the end of the month for her school expenses, for books, and etc. right? So on Tuesday, her dad sent her money for school. And normally when she picks up the money, the kind of child she is, like her routine, she'll be like, oh, thanks, I got the money. Either call them or text them. So their dad sent her money on Tuesday. She didn't say anything. So on Wednesday, like her mom was a little worried because that's not like her. So her mom called her on Wednesday, no answer. Text her, no response. So her mom, being a you know, nerd, her daughter, she's like something is wrong. So she calls her roommate, her daughter's roommate, and I'm just gonna call her Linda because I forgot her name. So the mom called Linda and is like, hey, I haven't heard from Alexandria. Have you heard from her? And Linda's like, no. So she's like, the last time I've heard from Alexandria was like 3 p.m. I haven't heard from her. Maybe you should ask our other roommate. And the mom is confused and she's like another roommate and it's a male roommate too she's like a male roommate i thought it was just the two of you and linda is like no we have a third roommate um maybe i can ask him and the mom is like okay uh can i have his number and linda's like no i can't give you his number i don't think he's gonna answer and the mom is just like well i have to ask him i haven't heard from my daughter all day you know and she's like well i'm gonna give you his number but i don't think he's gonna answer so Linda goes ahead and give the mom this guy. Let's call him Mark. Mark number. So mom called Mark. Call him. Call him. Call him. And he's like, finally picks up. And he's like, yeah. Um, the last time I saw Alexandria is when I, you know, dropped her off at the park at 3:40 p.m. Um, today. So by this time it's nighttime. It's Wednesday night. And he's talking to the mom. He's like, the last time I dropped her off at the park was 3:40 p.m. And the mom is like, did you guys like call the police? Like, is there anything? And they're like, well. Uh, we didn't call the police, but we think you should call the police. I think they would take it more serious if you call the police. And the mom is just like, can y'all call the police? Like, you haven't seen your roommate. This is not like her. Can y'all call the police? And they're like, on, while they're on the phone with the mom, to about the girl Alexandria that is like went missing, right? So after the mom finished talking to Mark, the mom hangs up and she called the police herself from Congo, right? She called the police and she tells them, like, I haven't heard from my daughter in two days. And the police is like, okay, we're going to look into it. Call us back in 15 minutes. As a mom, she's panicking. She has, like, all these thoughts in her head, and she's not there. So can you imagine what she's going through? So she calls the police right back in 15 minutes, and they're like, well, we looked into her cell phone record, and the last time her cell phone was, like, ping or anything, any activity on her cell phone was, like, 3 p.m. today, which right now, as they were speaking, it was Wednesday night. So they was telling her it was Wednesday at 3.40 p.m. is when we her cell phone had any activity or anything like that. So this mom is panicking. So first, this story was not getting enough coverage. It was just, like, police, the mom, and the roommate. That was it. So... It's almost like five days now the mom has put out a plea on social media. She's telling people, please take this serious. You know, I, like she's literally pleading for like anybody who's like Congolese, like the embassy. Like she's just pleading for everybody to hear her story and everything. So there's no search rescue. There's nothing. Nothing has been done. Like she put out a plea and people have like responded to it. And that's why as much as people be like, oh, the Internet is so bad. The Internet is this. The Internet is good sometimes because her cry got people to go search the forest. It got everybody on social media talking about it. It got people taking the case serious. They went to the park that her the Mark said that he dropped her off. And this park has a one way in, one way out. There's no multiple entry to this park. So they went inside the park and today they found her body in the river. Um, and some people were saying when they pulled her body out of the river, her hands were like taped together and like she had like taped over her mouth and stuff like that. And right now they're treating it as if like she went to the park and she was hanging around and she just happened to like fall in the water and drown. But honestly, something in this story is not clear, especially the way that her friends didn't jump up and be like, oh, let's call the police, you know oh like you know that's this is not like our friend or let me call the mom you know that doesn't sit well with me and the fact that i don't know i don't know what you guys think about the story i don't know if you guys heard about it but as a mom my heart bleeds for her my heart bleeds for her because she had her daughter since she was 17 years old and she said that she worked so hard to make sure she give her daughter a head start in life she she you know she went through a lot a teen pregnancy and she fought and you know for her a mom to bring their child to canada and finance their education by herself to finance their education you could just tell how much she loved this child and how much she wanted her child to win in life and how much sacrifice that she was putting into her child for just it hurts it hurts um so i'll give you guys more update if you need it but it's just yeah this story is weird, but it's confirmed some black woman was found floating in the river after her white roommates dropped her off there. It seems random, but she could have been trying to turn tricks. Divesting gone wrong. 